Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my interesting co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Oritsu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's do it. I like the same. Ife, uh, how are you? I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. Are you better than are yesterday? You sure? Yeah, the police is actually your friend. Mm. Mm. I if I say the truth, say your truth. truth. Mm. I'll be say covering for truth. some people. No, I'm not covering for them all because at the end of the day, when I hung out with them yesterday, oh, you hung out like, with <laughs> them? Yeah, the police. That's why I said the police is actually here. Mm. Yeah, if you know how to talk to them. Did they drink? Ah. <laughs> so, my hanging out has to involve drinks. No, I need to, I'm just from acting now. Like, <laughs> Which policeman doesn't drink? Can't you think they have acting? Were they all like, like really done for the day? And we call them out cast down police officers. Well, <laughs> it right. was in the station actually, though. Mm. So you were hanging out at the police station. Interesting. Yeah, Where's yeah. Your rank is getting high. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with me. That's what it means. And I have police friends. Okay. I have soldier friends. Yeah. You have soldier friends? Yes. No more they are supposed to be at war now. They will soon go <laughs> the um, Third World War. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's go right into the main story. Higher Ground Productions, a company owned by Barack and Michelle Obama, has called its first Oscar nomination. The former American president said in an Instagram post that he's glad to see American factories nod for best documentary. He went on to say, and I quote, I like this film for its nuanced, honest portrayal of the way a changing global economy plays out in real lives. It offers a window into people as they actually are and and it's the kind of story we don't see often enough. This is exactly what Mitchell and I hope to achieve through higher ground, end of quotes. The film will compete in its category against The Cave, The Edge of Democracy, For Summer, and Honey Land. Okay, I've not seen any of this movie. I've seen Summer all. and I've seen Honey Land. Mm -hmm. And I think they're, um, they're great movies, um, but I haven't seen um, the Barack Obama, um, the American, American, factory. American factory. I haven't seen that, so I'd like to see how this plays out because there's are two other great documentaries, mm -hmm. and I haven't seen this one. So uh, I hope it won't be a case of favoritism at the end of the day where you say, okay, this is the ex-president and the ex-first lady of the United States of America, so let's just give the award to them. So I, I just I hope, hope not, and I don't think yeah, so. And I, hope, I know I'm I looking hope, forward to seeing all of them this weekend. Yeah, I hope, I hope <laughs> This would be on merits and um, big shout out to when you when we're talking about the Oscars, we can't take it away from our Phoenix Draken, right? Joker. Who, the Joker guy who has backed 11 Oscar nominations, and I think um, that's very, very, very amazing. Even though I don't think that movie is that deep, but it's it's character. It's the, back the, the, that the movie way, is deep. Yeah, maybe you're not the, deep enough to understand the movie. Well, maybe just well, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'm not mm. deep in this type of context. Maybe I'm deeper in other contexts. What context? Yeah. Musical see, I feel context. like the context is becoming <laughs> something else. Which context well, are you I, deep I, in? I don't know, but I, I just don't think I watch. If I watch a movie for five days, I'm not saying the movie is not interesting. I don't. I'm not saying it doesn't have a message, but I'm just saying it's overrated. But in terms of performance, it's an artistic think, excellence. Yeah, so. in terms of performance, I think it killed. His role, and I think he deserves all the nomination he got. I'm not gonna say he doesn't deserve that, but mm -hmm. I don't just think that the movie Joker is extremely, extremely great. It is extremely, it's extremely, extremely great, great. and that's why he's getting all this nudge right now. <clears throat> this is a movie that has to connect with you on a different level, right. and I understand it if you don't connect with it. Like it's not, it's not a bad thing, mm. but don't water down the. I'm not trying to water it down. It's just my personal the level opinion. of you artistry. Everybody, everybody, uh, I entire to the opinion but this is my personal opinion on the movie i've seen great movies like the green book do you understand that's a great movie that's very intellectual it, mm -hmm. it's it's um what's it called it taxed my brain it made me think it made me see life from a different and joker didn't really tax my brain like wow. that i think it was what did you like, pick from joker mm -hmm. what did i pick from joker i picked the fact that a lot of people are going through things and um people really do not understand that's what the society expects from you and the understanding of the society mm -hmm. do you understand that is what i picked from joker i think it could have been 
said in another way. Did you way. also pick the fact that people are, like you said, going through things, not just few people. We think it's those people that are diagnosed that are going through things mm. now, but the general public are in a situation whereby they are looking for someone to follow, someone mm. to worship, a trigger. And that trigger could mean anything. anything. And you realize that people are burning and down everywhere. I also everywhere. think that um, another message is that people are not open to when somebody is different. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that are different in this world, and people just look at them like they're crazy, they're this, they're that. But at the end of the day, that's just their personality. That's how they were created. That's how their mind works. But people are not open. So people are supposed to start embracing people with their different um, personalities and perspectives towards life and all of that. That's another thing. So I'm not saying that there are no lessons to be picked. I just think the movie is overrated. If you ask me, I don't think it's overrated. I, I don't, don't even think it's, think it's more of trying to. What did you say now? Making people get understand how other, other people, people are. I think it's more of understanding that people need help and i think they even touched on the system of um, how mental health oh, issues are treated addressed, so yeah. if you don't understand it and you address it in a way that mm -hmm. is not the right way it could cost and that's what form i mean by effect. difference in um different in in my context because people are different a lot of people have different mental health issues there are a lot of people do not even know exist so i think we all have to educate ourselves on different types of mental health i issues. think we are turning this okay. i was going to say i mean yeah, okay, about so let's, to steal back let's, right, 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 let's now. go back to Factory. barack and michelle yeah. um big shout out to them um I think they're doing great for themselves, even after they have left the um, mm -hmm. presidential seat. They're still doing great, and they're still making waves and impacting very present. lives. Very yeah, I mean, so. they are like power couples for me, and mm -hmm. I'm super excited that they got this. Even if some people would, you know, argue that it was it's because it's Barack and mm, sure. Mitchell. No, because we haven't seen it, we can't say that. I didn't uh, say me. I said people. Yeah, yeah, people. yeah. I'm saying yeah. And then I've, I've not seen it, but I've read reviews. Of and I can get that people a, that haven't even seen seen it up even saying these things do you understand because it's just normal for people to just say okay because we are once in a position of power then things will um automatically happen Work for, for you. you so mm -hmm. i think a lot of people that are even saying these things most of them have not even seen this documentary mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to seeing it and too, knowing so the I'm, both I'm, of I'm, them i'll probably see it today though I, i'm and knowing the sure. both and of them i don't think they will get involved in anything that is not deep enough mm -hmm. and talking about being deep enough i think one of the things that um, people comment the um, documentary for was the story because mm -hmm. it talked about something that everybody can relate to mm -hmm. about workers and you know laborers how foreigners street um workers and all of that so it's something that i personally i'm looking forward to mm. watching this weekend or maybe this night mm -hmm. <laughs> but i uh, mean big shout out to Mitchell and but they keep winning in every yeah way. i mean after being the president and the first lady they've still remained there week by mm -hmm. i mean they, they are either they are touching lives news, speaking yeah. somewhere it's just awesome to see what they are doing and i think people can learn and i like that um them. they can relate with the world after leaving their position you know talking about music talking about movies talking yeah. about whatever it is attending they are, concerts attending yeah, 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 they are yeah, like true. really yeah. involved and mm -hmm. flowing with the world mm -hmm. All right, moving on to the next story. Queen Elizabeth II has agreed to a period of transition for Harry and Meghan, in which they spend time in Britain and Canada. The, she announced on Monday that she and her royal family were entirely supportive of Harry and Meghan's desire to create a new life. She said, although we would have preferred them to remain full-time working members of the royal family, we respect and understand their wish to live a more independent life as family while remaining a valued part of my family end of words i like how she's handling this yeah. and i like how they are doing what they have, they've always been known to do coming together and putting out a united front and a united statement which is something i admire um about the royal family at winter and all that so i like what they're doing and i just hope that they can really resolve this and have like a united front and also understand where Meghan and um, Harry, Harry is coming from because I don't understand it, but it's <laughs> not my place to understand, mm -hmm. right? But I hope there's an understanding in the family. Yeah, honestly, I mean, you've you just said my mind because 
why not there if they can have a conversation with the queen and she feels the need that okay fine let's support these people and let them do what, what they want to do that's okay it's just that i hope um what well, their attitude after will not make her regret you know a decision I, mean, I think that's all that matters mm -hmm. if the family is in support why are we to say no yeah, I don't think um, it is still ongoing. So, in as much as she's supported, there's still other people that would come into play before mm. the decision is final. So, I just hope, um, in as much as she has been supported, the rest of the family, the rest of the royals, the senior royals, will be supportive of this and sign and say, okay, you guys are free to do whatever you want to do. Because this is just our own statement saying that I'm in support of whatever they um, desire to do but um there will still be some other people that will say that and um you know there's been rumors that um is about um prince harry's 2.3 million um, pounds um annual revenue which is entitled to might be cut short by um, um what's his name prince charles yeah so um, i mean i think that's one of the reason why they are breaking up because they want to have their own um independent, independent yeah. um money and then for those for the people that um think um megan is being manipulative i think no it's not about manipulation it's about your family your own immediate family because um one thing is being said that um after you get married you you need to start thinking about your immediate family security for your children and making sure that they have a life of their own that is not being controlled by the media or by other people you should and have I think, thought about that even before you get yeah married. and then i've seen a lot of people that uh, that have also said that megan knew exactly what she was getting into when she got married to prince harry and it should be a case of um uh happily ever after do you understand that it shouldn't be now that you now start saying that oh i want to go back to work and all of that but i think i'm totally in support of what these guys are doing um that is megan markle and prince harry because at the end of the day it's your happiness it's your comfort it's your joy that matters and like um mission 2020 is be as selfish as possible do you understand so um, in complete support of um, what the both of them are doing so I wish them the best of luck and in as much as the Queen has also supported them I just hope that other people can jump on that bandwagon and be like okay yeah thumbs up to you guys it's time for a quick break but before that break Pink Pinkberry is here again with more exciting news just for you you can now enjoy Pinkberry's wild berry and cookies and cream flavors at just 1000 naira only wow, plus wow, wow. <laughs> plus Pinkberry is also giving out free toppings on every <laughs> cup size you buy on Mondays through Thursdays this is definitely mind blowing wow wow wow, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> so see how excited they are what are you waiting for visit any pink berry store near you to enjoy these offers um tea time we'll be right back after this break wow. welcome to tea time on plus tv africa where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and of course analyze them for you you can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now. Wow. And that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Across <laughs> <laughs> TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. This is TOT Time on Plus TV Africa. Marriage is not a success, and this is coming from dancer Kora Ubidi. 
Okay, I think this is a conversation that um, has been overflogged. I, I feel like everyone should just decide what is success to them and what mm. is not success. And like I always say, if marriage is success for you, then congratulations, work at it. And don't work at it in the, with the mindset of if it fails, then I'm, my life is over. If it fails... Or if, if I don't even you know, don't get yeah, married so and Just be open-minded, be hopeful. When it comes through, put in everything you've got to make sure it works and if it doesn't work it is not the end of life there are so many successes to record in every other area of your life that's what i, I mean see people tr um, try marriage and then you fail and they will try again and mm -hmm. they will have it yeah, yeah. it's just a like like business like, yeah you do business you fail i mean some of the businessmen we said great now will tell you that they failed in they've had so many failed yeah. attempts at businesses I, I mean i think almost every businessman have that, that kind that of story, story right mm -hmm. so same thing in marriage if you say it's a success thumbs up and so I think it becomes more successful when your marriage is a success, right? Mm. So hopefully her own is a success because she's married, right? Yeah. I, I read that she celebrated her one year anniversary. anniversary yeah. So I guess that is a success to her, but that's good also. I'm, I'm on you 100% everything <laughs> you said because I'm in this conversation, I'm just really tired of it. Mm. Define your own success. If you think Simple. to you marriage is a success, yeah. Pursue it and get it. Mm -hmm. But if you think it's not, it's okay. I mean, no, I, one thing is that people should stop putting pressure on people. Mm -hmm. Let them decide if they want, for they want marriage or not. I think this is off the back of um, our putting out that uh, the bad girls actually are the ones getting married and mm -hmm. the good girls do not get married and all of that. And then to like um, that it's not a success. But like Elsie rightly said, you need to define what success means to you. Mm. If um, there are a lot of people that they do not care, they set a goal for themselves. By the time I'm 23, I want to get married. And if they're not married at that stage, they feel like they're not fulfilled. Mm. Do you understand? So it's how you place success. Mm -hmm. It's how you place your fulfillment. Do you understand at the end of the day? So I feel like um, a lot of women need to just break that chain or that stereotype of um, if I'm not married, I'm not equal to my mates who are married. Because a lot of these married women are not even happy in their marriages. Yeah, but they forget that they're not happy when they leave the house. So mm. they're looking at the young girl, the single girl, and like, why are you not married? Like, I don't know if it's a case of amnesia, but they kind of forget that they're not happy. <laughs> yeah, do you understand? So why. at the end of the day, you need to focus on yourself, build yourself. Marriage is not going to build you to be who you want to mm. be. Do you understand? It's about, um, let's use token marking words, well, work on yourself mm -hmm. and keep working on yourself. Mm -hmm. That is the definition of success. When you have that self-fulfillment, not what the society expects from you, not because people say that, oh, at, when you're 35 and you're not married, then you, you're not a complete woman. That is not what success is all about. Because there are a lot of single women out there who are doing very well in their um, respective businesses, in their respective um, relationship with friends, you know, and all of that. And then things are working out for them. Now, that is their definition of success. But if you feel, okay, ah, if I'm, then you settle for less at the end of the day because you feel that if I'm not married, I'm not successful. So it's it's not about that. And I think that um, I agree with um, Cora Obidi on this one, that marriage is not a success. And then maybe she's just okay, trying so to... So for you, marriage is not a success? Well, for me, marriage is not even an achievement to start with. I, I, I don't mind dying. A successful marriage is an achievement. It, well, when, like you said, a successful mm -hmm. marriage. Not a marriage that comes with a lot of rumors, that comes with a lot of side talks, that comes with a lot of problems. How is that success? How is that something that gives me headache every day? I wake up, how is that me being successful? Because people see me with a ring on my finger and then they believe that, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm responsible. Okay, so, I mean, as you, you were just talking about, how if it gives you a problem, and it just came to my mind that maybe the people that can say if marriage is a success or not are people that, that are already get... married because you don't know what it feels like until you're in it already. So Yeah, I mean, she's married and she's saying it's not a, an achievement. Mm. Yeah, that's what I said. Maybe but she, there are people, people who yeah. are also married that will tell you it is a success and yeah. it is an achievement. And, so um, just that's, that's, when, that's when the marriage is actually 
Okay, when you say marriage is a success, then you have to be better off than what you were before you got married. Do you understand? That's when I would say that marriage is a success. Do you understand? Like, when you get married and then you're better off than when you were single. But if you're still on the same level after you got married, please, sister, brother, how is that a success? Well, the same level itself, we have to define the levels you're talking about. Yeah. Honestly, it's okay. Just, and there's one. There's one thing. I, um, you, you mentioned something that she said, and I wanted to just comment um, on when she talked about is the good, ge bad girls that are getting married. And the, please, any good girl out there, don't let anybody deceive you. I feel like people. I mean, it, it just works for people differently. Mm. And then t it's timing that matters at the end of the day. You might not be married mm. now. It might sure. not just be your time. So mm. don't let it, let anybody <laughs> deceive you. That it's just the bad girls that are ruling the world. I don't think there's a time frame to marriage. <laughs> Well, if, bad girls are getting married, you know? Yeah, so <laughs> anyway. if, you, if you find love at 60... But who is a bad girl, though? That's it. I mean, that's that's another question. That's it's uh, very what's, relative. What's the name of this girl that twerks on the Instagram that just got Jemina. married? Jemina. Jemina. She's married. Yes, she she twerks her way to marriage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. um, let's move on to the next story. Gigi Hadid is among the 120 potential jurors in the Harvey Weinstein trial. So, I actually have a question for Efe. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what does this mean? And what does it take to be on a jury? Like, I don't know. Is I think I know what it takes. Okay, okay. please okay. answer. Okay, for you to be um, a jury, you just have to be above 18, educated, I mean, understand English enough, you know, mm -hmm. and then you have you don't have to have any crime or criminal, whatever, before, and you just mm -hmm. have to be a clean person. As that's all it takes to be a, a I jury. I that you also have to be a person of sound mind and who is unbiased mm. about anything. So even if I have a personal relationship with you mm -hmm. and I'm part of the jury, I should be able to stand for the truth. Mm. Do you understand? So well, I got this list yeah. on the United States. No, 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 website, no. You're actually that's correct. what they listed. Yeah, you're actually correct. But you remember when um they asked the judge asked her that are you sure you're going to be fair and mm. unbiased mm -hmm. about this case and she said yes so even though she's met Adi a couple of times it doesn't mean that if she's if the evidence is presented before points that is guilty she will not use a personal relationship with him to say that ah because this person is my was friend nice mm -hmm. or it was nice yeah. to me yeah mm -hmm. so you have to be very unbiased as well so i think they will ask everybody that question yeah they've been, yeah. Given, they've, they've been given a form to fill though so yeah. they are not um the final and the judge yes. Avi, yes. Avi, Avi wasn't even aware that um He's actually right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely said that he wasn't even aware that Gigi would be part of this. He but I just hope this aware. is not part of the plot to get people that will fight in his favor. No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't know why, but I honestly feel like she'll be very fair if given a chance to be part of the Yeah, jury. because she won't stand for a lot of women. Mm. And um, I, th I think I like Gigi. Gigi has been very hard working. Yeah, I like her she's, too. Uh, she's had numerous awards for being a top model and all that. And she's very so, beautiful. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> All right, so let's touch on this very last story quickly. Any friend who is actively friends with someone who has abused you mentally, emotionally, or physically isn't really your friend. Tough pill to swallow, but know this and adjust accordingly. It is not a matter of it's not my beef or my problem. If of, if someone you care about goes out of their way to actively have someone around that they know has caused you pain or been antagonistic towards you, your value to them isn't that great and it's okay. You Swallow the pill and find your tribe that would never want to put you in that situation. Plain and simple. And this is coming from media personality, Denola. Denola is just in his feelings. I mean, I totally agree with what Denola said. Because if you understand what he said, actively around. So he's not saying that your friend should make that person an enemy. Mm -hmm. You get, but you know, when you start hanging out with them all the time, having conversations with them all the time, I feel it's very insensitive when you know that this person has probably done harm to your friend or someone around you. That's how I feel about it, honestly. I think what he said is not like casting stone. Like, it can't be a straightforward situation. So, everything has its peculiarity. I feel like mm -hmm. I've been in this situation, but not exactly the way it's being painted. And for this 
ex friend of mine to be even friends with who I would consider someone that wasn't really fair with me or fair to me. Um, I think that happened after we stopped being friends. So it was, and at some sometimes I think about it and I ask myself. Do I really have the right to make someone not to be friends with a particular okay, person? Okay, your story is like totally different because okay. you're already... No, 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 it's something that started, I saw the trait before I realized that, okay, nah, we need to like stay away, but I'm, I did stay away because she was friends with someone who I felt had hurt me. It was just a thing, it's a conversation between us both. I could say it's her own way of hurting me, not because she was friends with this person. You know, so I I, I don't know, but I know that it's not, it's not cast in stone, like right, it's so, a cool, um, and I cannot I be, I cannot buy a friend's enemy because if person did not treat you right or you guys had issues except you're saying this person really dragged you beat you locked you up like you know all those serious criminal activities mm -hmm. but if it's a case of friendship concern, yeah. conversations that did not sail through so, um, i don't think i, I can know, buy that i know anyway. we're out of time i'm just going to touch on this quickly mm -hmm. now um we're all selfish regardless of how we want to look at it now if somebody has done you wrong mm -hmm. yeah and then i know that i have a working relationship with this person mm -hmm. this person is putting food on my table so will i say because this person has done lc wrong i'm going to be ignoring contracts from such a person That's and i'm actively hanging about. around that person because of my personal gains mm -hmm. now i'm not going to Elsie is my friend, but because I know that I, I have something to gain from this relationship with this person, I will hang around that person. I think the problem will be that. when you now actively decide to bring this person and Elsie on the same table every no, time. No, no, I mean, I mean if you for me, I think each I feel other space. Maybe yeah. I would just um, agree with Elsie that, I mean, it's just peculiar to the situation at hand because mm -hmm. what he first is talking about, I honestly don't think that's what he's talking about. He's not talking about no, business, no, no, relationship. I'm just, I'm just or, I mean, we, no, we, we should try. That, yeah. Look, I have okay. This person is the person that is going to give me social -so contract that would help my life, that will benefit my life. But because this person has done something to Elsie, who is my friend, will I now say I'm going to ignore that contract? No, mm -hmm. on, no. Now that's why I'm saying that we this. Wrap up, this no, is, quickly. Yeah, that's something like this is very different because I'm sure if Elsie is your friend, you would have that conversation with Elsie that Elsie, this person is about to give me this job, and, and if Elsie is truly your friend, she won't want you to lose a contract. Well, so I, I wish you had more time, or maybe we'll have this conversation session more on the next episode but that's how i wrap up this episode of tea time thank you so much for watching and remember you can watch this conversation all over again by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on arosu tv and in london on ben television my thank you as always to go to my co-anchors and of course the entire production team my name is elsie godwin saying thank you for watching and enjoy your day